about that, I guess, but basically given an array of integers, pretty straightforward, mm. write a function called min distance to calculate mm. the absolute minimum distance between two mm. elements and return all pairs having mm. that absolute distance. Uh, and then mm. there's a note to make sure to print the pairs in ascending order. So I guess starting out, sure, like, what sure. are you thinking about mm. Vivek for strategies? Mm of tackling this yeah. question. Yeah, so I think the first thing that comes to mind is the brute force solution for this problem, where we, uh, since we are looking for all pairs with the minimum absolute distance, I think like if we have a nested loop, like two for loops, then we can solve this problem pretty easily. Like we'll look at all possible pairs and remember like what is the minimum absolute distance has been so far and once we figure that out the second step would be to actually like go through it again look at all pairs where the difference is the minimum absolute distance and then print those out so that's my first like approach to this problem but uh, that will actually run in big o of n square time which is like quadratic in the length of the array so we can do some optimization where instead of looking at like all pairs what we can do is we sort this array and once once we do that, the minimum absolute difference between any two numbers would always be two numbers which are like closer to each other uh, gotcha. if the array is sorted. Okay. And in that case, we can do a linear search from left to right and like remember like what has been the minimum absolute distance so far and then mm -hmm. again like do the second linear search and then like whenever we see a pair with the same minimum absolute dif difference, we print that out. Okay. Could you uh, kind of write out what you were talking about and then I guess just kind of jump into it? Mm -hmm. So yeah. force, we go through each one, we compare each number mm. against each other, right? And then that's mm. O of n mm. squared. And then the linear approach is we mm. do a sorting first, right? Which is mm. going to give us at best n mm. log n, right? with the sort. Mm. And then mm. we can just do a linear search after that to compare each one next to each other. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. For the second uh, optimized one. So first of all, we need, let's say we have this minimum distance. It takes an array V, array of integers. First of all, we sort this. So dot sort actually sorts the array in ascending order and in place. Uh, so that's good. And then we go through this array from left to right. And we also need one variable to remember like what has been the minimum absolute best difference, minimum absolute difference. When we start, like we can initialize this with let's say an infinity because we are looking for something which is like minimum. So something whatever we find out, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or we can like, yeah, there are, few nitty gritties about this but i think that doesn't matter we can also like initialize this with the difference between the first two and then we start looping from the second element instead of the first that's like very small changes uh, that doesn't like hurt this we are going from left to right and we find out the current difference which is v i plus one minus vi. So in this case, like we are always looking at the difference between the next element and the current element. And when we actually reach the end of this uh, array, then we might have some issues. So it's better to actually loop till the second last element of the array so that we don't overshoot the array here. We take the absolute value of the difference and if the uh, current difference is even smaller than the minimum absolute difference that we have seen, so current will be this. Yeah. So we update our minimum absolute difference uh, to the current one. So this will give me the ma minimum absolute difference uh, in this particular array. And then to actually print out the pairs, we again do a traversal from left to right, very similar to what we just did. And then if the calculate the absolute difference, and then if the difference is equal to the absolute one, then print that out. So we check if the current difference is equal to the minimum absolute difference. If it is, then we print out the current pair, which is vi plus one mm -hmm. comma vi main, then 
take some input. Let's say here we take the same one which is given here and we use this and yeah, call our function on this array. Uh, it should print out these. This should so work. Let's try running it. You yeah. don't actually need to run the if name equals main, by the way. In just, uh, just like one script that gets executed. Okay. So go okay. back. Yeah, go ahead and delete the if name equals main. Okay. Yeah. And this then, should work. This should, yeah, this should print it. Scroll down. Hmm. Like I have also not used this editor for myself. So <laughs> I'm not like very familiar with this. Yeah. No, this one should hmm. work. It's uh, it's something hmm. weird. So I think I might have to create a test case for this one, given the fact that this hmm. is a new question itself that we just added. Okay. So let me. Okay. Yeah, I can do that yeah. real quick. Okay, I think this looks good. Hmm. Uh, we can we can cut that last part out. Hmm. Yeah. Cool. Can you send me that code? And refresh this. Okay, there is some error actually. Output is two, one, and three, two. Okay. It should be one, two, and two, three. And in that order also. So we don't have to print the answer. We have to return the answer. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, oh, wait. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, it looks like it's right. I think my test case is wrong. Here. Yeah, you have one square bracket and one uh, like normal bracket. Okay, gotcha. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right, sorry about that. Mm -hmm. That's weird how it doesn't print out the output though. If you if you press run Python. Then, yeah, now it is successful. Yeah. All right. Try try mm -hmm. run Python instead of submit solution. Submit solution. Uh, try run mm -hmm. Python instead. Yeah, both of them are giving like one test run and one passed. Both have the same output. 